Ah, welcome back to Boy Time Reactions. Today we are listening to Sufjan Stevens, Illinois. Watch the wheel spin. <sighs> Sufjan Stevens, Illinois. Now that was a wheel spin. That was a good wheel. Um, this is the longest album that we've reacted to so far. Uh, mm -hmm. Clocking it at an hour and 14 minutes and 22 tracks. So a behemoth. This yeah. might be a two-parter. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. But this is Sufjan Stevens' probably most critically acclaimed album. Um, I am a big fan already, listening to probably about half his catalog. Uh, just haven't dove into the older stuff. Um, but yeah, I think you have experience as well. Um, a little bit. Um, I've just listened to Carrie and Lowell, and I did enjoy it quite a bit. Um, and I've listened to the first two uh, new singles that he did um, with uh, uh, Angela, Angela and Augustine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I like those. Mm -hmm. And I like Carrie and Lowell. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be good. Yes. What I, from what I've heard, it's more of like the new singles where it's more dramatic and glorious and not heart-suckingly depressing. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's always a good touch. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Carrie and Lowell, one of my favorites ever, growing every single time I listen to it. Um, Illinois, 2005. This was, apparently on the Wikipedia it says he was joking about this, but initially he released Michigan in 2003 and said he was going to do an album for every single state. So this is the oh. second edition to that and the last edition to that. Um, okay. So he made it really far. But mm -hmm. I've also heard Michigan is like a classic as well. So let us know if you want a, us to listen to that one. Because um, I don't see us not liking this. Just we've we've enjoyed Sufjan so far. And I feel like it'd be kind of weird if we didn't like this. So That's true. Um, also, I really like folk and soft rock. Exactly. So and this is like peak. Just like it listed as indie folk and chamber folk, whatever that is. Um, okay. It sounds like Sufjan, I think. But uh, the man's an angel. Um, the song titles on this are incredibly long, but I'm going to read all of them because that's what you come for. I don't know what the bottom right of the screen is going to look like. I'm going to have to like <laughs> make that in like 12 point font. Um, yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to even fit some of these. I'll make it work. If okay. not, I'll just have it like trail <laughs> off the screen like it shows on Spotify. That works too. But uh, if there's no nothing else to add, we can jump in. It's going to be a a longer listening experience. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Uh, track one, Ken put on the screen, concerning the UFO sighting near Highland, Illinois. Okay. Flute. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> In the spirit of three stars, winds grow and grow. God, he's an angel. His voice is so it's good. It's so good. I didn't even notice how good his, his vocal quality is. Yeah. Because yeah. back half Gary of Gary and Lowell gets there sometimes, but he's mm -hmm. pretty stripped back on that one. Yeah. Plus he does a lot of that like du dual tracking. Mm -hmm. So it kind of makes it difficult yeah. to really focus on them. God, I don't want to stop, but even if we transition, I got to read the paragraph of the song. Uh, next. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I God. Loved that. I mm -hmm. don't under His voice is so good. Insane. Yeah. Um, uh, I have to clear my throat with this one. <sighs> Track two. 
the Black Hawk War, or how to demolish an entire civilization and still feel, still feel good about yourself in the morning, or we apologize for the inconvenience, but you're going to have to leave now, or I have fought the big knives and will continue to fight them until they are off our lands. I wonder what this is about. <laughs> he doesn't leave much up to interpretation. <laughs> no. I feel like we're going to transition into track three. We can do that. This is building into something. We'll see. And you won't be able to read track three, though. I'm just going to rap got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate if we stopped after that. Just going to keep going. Come on, feel the Illinois part one. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because I don't want to ruin it. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not a seamless transition, but. I don't think it meant to be. <laughs> no. This is under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> 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 it was very inspired. <laughs> yeah. He does play a lot with rhythm, but you probably haven't heard anything from him that's like that yet. No, not like this. No. But I like it. Some nice syncopation going on. Mm -hmm. I was hoping there'd be horns. It's very Chicago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all I can think of, man. I know. <laughs> Transition into the trumpet, though, is great. Yeah. I bet it's intentional that he, the first line is Chicago and then the horns start going. Probably. I wonder if it's a little yeah. Easter egg. A little Easter egg. Like literally doing like a stage show right now yeah yeah this is definitely hamilton too mm, this is hamilton chicago version yeah <laughs> i need to hear this live mm, oh that'd that be nice. so cool I didn't expect him to just be manning an entire orchestra. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> pretty know. nuts. Huh. This is like the opposite of Carrie and Lowell. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was pretty great. Yeah. I, you know, it's we can't really react to it, so you probably won't see much footage from us like actually listening to it. But that was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Mm. Uh, as the resident not long song fan, <laughs> that's probably the worst wording for that. He hates long songs. I enjoyed songs, that one. But yes. There, there's exceptions. Like this. Um, like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I really liked everything about it. it. It definitely had a whole journey to it. And I think that's usually my problem with longer songs is that they tend to linger on things for minutes at a time because mm -hmm. they have the time to do that. And it's like, I don't, I don't need two and a half minutes yeah. of the same chord on a guitar. Do something. This did a lot. Sufjan, I liked it. I think has that same thinking when it comes to long songs. He knows when to like, be like, okay, we're going to transition here. We're going to do like another phase. Mm -hmm. He famously has the uh, the closing song on Age of Ads that's 25 minutes long. And that's one of my favorite Sufjan songs because it's literally like the entire album packaged in one. But it never oh. gets boring. So he definitely knows how to like use his time when he, mm -hmm. when he gives himself time. That's but cool. I love that he's using like a whole bunch of like organic instruments. Mm -hmm. You got woodwinds, you got strings, you got like 
violins or something at the back end. Mm. Um, I was going to say I wanted more vocals, but then the last part hit, and I'm like, all right, we're good. Never mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, this man has one of the best singing voices ever, and by the time I'm done with this, I'll probably say he's, like, my favorite, but we'll see. Um, wow. Yes. Track four is easy. John Wayne Gacy Jr. I know that one. Okay, we're back. Yeah. This is what I'm used to. This, yeah. Living things riding fast in their sleep of the dead. 27 people, even more. They were boys with their cars, summer jobs. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he put a cloth on their lips, quiet hands, quiet kiss on the moon. Wow. That was a good song. That was insane. Yeah. That's was probably more what you're used to. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is more what I'm used to. Uh, not expecting a John Wayne Gacy uh, reference here. That's Illinois, yeah. It is Illinois. <laughs> I don't, is every song somehow tied to Illinois? I believe so, yeah. He wanted okay. to just encapsulate the state as an album. Okay. So he took like just a whole bunch of city lore and mm. like Chicago lore and then just Illinois lore in general. Yeah. And then, yeah. Said he mixed in religious themes, too. He does that a lot with his music. That's just kind of like a staple. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. I think that's his yeah. goal. Interesting. He's making it sound interesting and not tacky, too. Mm -hmm. Which I think is probably pretty hard to do if you're intentionally wanting to make every single song tie back to the state of Illinois or the people. Yeah. So. Yeah. True to him. Oh, it sounded great. Beautiful. I like that. Yeah. Um, Jacksonville is track five. I've had some easy ones. Mm hmm Not for very much longer. Not for very much longer. You are not about to do this to me right now. Five and a half minute track and it opens like this. <laughs> it's over. No Man. way you're about to do this. <laughs> oh. This is a dangerous oh game. Oh my god. It's like some outlaw country. Yeah. Which I really dig. I Yo. What the captain said. I thought... And you got the horns. How? He does it all. <laughs> this man is making a movie score. <laughs> this is crazy. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the best song so yeah, far. Yeah, this is like crazy. Yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> we don't need to tell you guys that. So. <laughs> I was not, I was not expecting like a weird outlaw country, and then he brings the horns in, and it's majestic again, and it's just, ooh. Yeah, I think uh, easily the best song so far. Okay, I in think that's opinion. tied with John Wayne Gacy Jr. Actually, oh, I don't, I don't know what my ranking is right now, but it'll get messed up because there's 22 songs, so. Through, but some of them are there's six a lot of them that long. are like yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, there's a song that's six seconds that is seven thousand plays uh you know considering the 54 million directly under it that's kind of weird <laughs> that's true um yeah <laughs> but we will do six and seven um mm -hmm. 
Six is a short reprise from Mary Todd, who went insane, but for very good reasons. And then we will go into track seven, Decatur, or round of applause for your stepmother. I think that's Decatur. Decatur. I think it's a county. Sounds like you're from Atlanta. Decatur County. Decatur County. (laughs) Oh, so he's extending this outro. Yeah. Just for 47 seconds. Hmm. So he's doing what I love, but he's making a separate song out of it. Yeah. He's just really <laughs> extending it out. This also has like 3.4 million plays, and it's just the outro of Jacksonville. Yeah. But if you're listening to the whole thing, sense. it's like, it just flows. Yeah. I'm getting some Casey Musgraves vibes on Immediately, this. yeah. Decatur. I was right. Wow. <laughs> I don't think they have alligators in Illinois. Is Decatur in Illinois, though? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't expect a history lesson. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln is from Illinois. Whoa, we solved it. That's something they won't oh tell you. Oh my god. <laughs> Do not look at their license, please. Do not. <laughs> Do not go to the land of Lincoln. Yeah, Worst mistake of my life. Trick. Trick. A joker's trick. He thought he was done. <laughs> Great job. Good job. Ah. Wow. I, I don't want any of this six second song spoiled for me. Yep. None of it. <laughs> this is a queen yeah situation. I think it might be. But I'm surprised this, <laughs> this album didn't get, didn't get a country label on Wikipedia just because of how much country sounding stuff that is happening in the last like just two tracks. Yeah. Yeah, none of that in John Wayne Gacy, or really Mm-mm. before that. But yeah, there's been a Western theme. Yeah, for sure. Which is weird, because it's Jogger. Illinois, but yeah. Um, Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from Illinois, so it could be. I don't know. I'm just very close to it. Yeah, me too. And I avoid it at all costs. It's too scary. There's toll roads. That's true. There's a lot of toll roads. There's not a song about that out here. There should be. There should be. Um, next two we're gonna do. Yeah. Bars. No, we're just gonna do the first one. Okay. Yeah. Well, in depth analysis. <laughs> so it will be one last woohoo for the pole man, which I guess will just be a you woohoo if I were to guess, and then we will go Hopefully. into the title track. No, not the title track. No. Chicago title city. That was not enthusiastic. No, it wasn't. Thought it was going to be a hip hip hooray situation Mm -hmm. from. uh, Oh my god. I should probably note that this is the most popular track. It is, yes. So, maybe for a reason. Much like, you know, the most popular city in Illinois. Ah, yeah. He knew. <laughs> oh my god. Huh.
can see why this is the most popular. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's like popular of the time or if it's. I don't know. The people now are listening to it. It's just immaculate. Yeah. <laughs> Piano underneath is awesome. Or a keyboard, or whatever it is. Like a reminds me of like an '80s synth where they would just kind like play of. one chord. Yeah. You just gotta make everything beautiful, doesn't you? <laughs> Just at the very end. It's always at the end. <laughs> well, that's going somewhere. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> um, no transition for us, I no. guess. But uh, yeah, Chicago. Chicago. I think. Uh, not my favorite track so far. Okay. I think Jacksonville, Decatur, John Wayne Gacy, even Come On Phil to Illinois is probably beats it. Um, just kind of, I don't know, wasn't too impressed. But Yeah, I, I messed with that one. I like when he gets all majestic and he just does it. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to be the most out there which he does a lot later in his discography as well. Where he'll just mm. be like, I'm going to be like just extra. And then he does something like this, which is great. Tr trumpets are really, really cool. I didn't expect him to mesh so well with like brass instruments like that. Yeah. But, he's doing that a lot. Yeah. I like it. It's mm -hmm. keeping the cohesion together in this, uh, incredibly like diverse track list so far. Mm. But I'm sure yeah. when I listen to this, when it all flows together, it'll be more cohesive. But when we're doing it track by track, it's hard to judge how well it meshes into each other. But yeah. All True. right. Uh, Kashmir Pulaski Day is next. I've heard things about this song, but I haven't listened to it yet. So good or bad things? Very good things. I think this ranks is like one of his best. The things I brought you when I found This is gonna be a sad song, isn't it? <laughs> father cried on the telephone. All the glory that the Lord has made, and the complications you could do without when I kissed you all alone. But we lift our hands and pray over your body, but nothing ever happens. Another trumpet. At this point, it's just a constant throughout the whole thing. Exactly. Except John Wayne Gacy. I don't yeah. think there was any there. No. Very nice. That's a word for it. <laughs> Just for the record. Okay. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Yes. I don't know what to say yes. about that one. <laughs> uh, I think you mentioned, I don't remember what album we were listening to. Maybe it was Wilco. That your cheat code for a good song is a bunch of distortion on electric guitars. Yes. Uh, mine is the acoustic guitar played exactly like that. So. And constant. Keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that was awesome. I love oh, that song. I, I knew that one was going to be like the standout before we started yeah. listening. Because I keep hearing this one brought up and brought up. And I dig into Carrie and Lowell so much. Uh, and this one is brought up alongside it. And I can definitely mm -hmm. see that. Um Although this definitely feels like something that came out 10 years before. Because his lyricism like evolved so much on that one. 
mm-hmm. um, compared to this, but this is still fantastic. Yeah. He's able to capture emotion in incredibly, like, like complex ways. It's like, mm-hmm. this song is, like, incredibly depressing, but also it's like, I can kind of bop to the end with the trumpet and stuff. Yeah, it's a nice <laughs> There's groove. like, you know, whatever. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, I guess we'll do 11 and 12. We'll just sure. combine the two. Yeah. What is 11. To the workers of the Rock River Valley region, I have an idea concerning your predicament, and it involves an inner tube, bath mats, and 21 able-bodied men. And then we will go into track 12, The Man of Metropolis Steals Our Hearts. I wonder who that could be. What? Okay. (laughs) Not what I was expecting after the last one. There's been so many left turns here. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I mean, this is beautiful, but not mm-hmm. what I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> this man's crazy. This is okay. A rock song? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's like you thought. This is indie folk after all. It really is. doesn't need to build it up or mm-hmm. let it down. He's so smart. How so? And freaking distorted guitars just like super noisy and then they bring this in slowly and it's in mm-hmm. the same like ear channel and position pure opposites Uh, I guess you could say he's kind of a smart he do be thinking (laughs) don't transition please I'm gonna say 0% chance of transition you know what I'm just gonna let it go we'll just do 13 okay prairie Prairie fire fire that wanders about there you go Okay. There's a new instrument every song. It's crazy. Yeah. I was not expecting the organ. Mm hmm. Got okay, a King Gizzard sounding thing, yeah. kind of. <laughs> it's like the weirdest comparison to make, but this will make sense. It's accurate. Yeah. It's accurate. Okay. <laughs> We've uh, gone too long without Frick, talking. it's been three songs in like ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> the instrumental interlude was really cool. Um, that was track mm-hmm. 11. Yeah, that uh, one was really pretty. I thought it was romantic. Romantic. We, are, we were getting unfortunate with the uh, the timings in which we stopped. I was trying to predict like what would transition into each other, and I've gotten all of them wrong. So, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so uh, the Man of Metropolis. Yes. Is next. Um, the electric guitar song. The electric guitar. Yeah, the only one. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I thought that one was kind of decent. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know. Not too much about it that I really was like, wow, that was awesome. Like I had with Casimir Puliaski Day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he was definitely was nice. trying something different with the yeah. guitar. It was a little abrasive, just because mm-hmm. we're not used to it. But I like the uh, the push and pull that the song had. That's true. Um, Prairie Fire it was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed that I, one, too. I was hoping it wasn't a two-minute interlude, and it wasn't. Um, that was very yeah. Age of Ads, kind of where he was headed with electronics uh, in the next couple of years. 
and that stuff's really interesting. It's kind of dystopian and a little tinged with that electronics, but not completely electronic. So that was pretty yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree. Yeah. I guess we can do 14 and 15. I suppose. I'm going to have to do some reading. Uh, 14 is a conjunction of drones simulating the way in which Sufjan Stevens has an existential crisis in the Great Godfrey Maze. I have no idea what that song is going to be about. I, I don't know. And then we're going to go into track 15. The predatory wasp of the Palisades is out to get us! Oh, oh no! no! This one transitioned too, so I'm just getting all of these wrong. <laughs> Unless this one also transitions into 15. Maybe. This do sound like an existential crisis in a maze, though. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> At least he thought so. Oh my god. Okay, it does transition. We're good. We're chilling. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> oh, I was about to be the best song. Could be. They're, they're doing my cheat code again. Mm -hmm. A twist. Oh. Weird that this album has such a like a, a love relationship to the trumpet, and I've never heard another song of his that has the. Yeah, it's crazy. It. Yeah. But it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just, just bah. <laughs> this should be illegal. This should be illegal. <laughs> Getting a little scary. This better not be a scary song that's net. Freak. I just need to listen to this whole thing in full. Okay, but that's that track was one of the best. I if if agree. not, it's like top three. I think I, I can't tell because this album is so long. I feel like I listened to the other songs like ten years ago. Um, True. Yeah, but that was fantastic. That had everything I wanted. Mm -hmm. I think I agree. I think that is tied with Casimir Pulaski Day as mm -hmm. my favorite. Okay. I would agree. I don't know what else I'd put up there. Uh, John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's a good one too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 16 is a long one, so we'll just do that one by itself. Uh, da, da, da. They are night zombies. They are neighbors. They have come back from the dead. Ah! It's not as scary anymore. You said that this was going to be a not scary album. This, you promised This me. bass group is really scary right now. <laughs> I'm terrified. They would play this at a Halloween party. Prop... Yeah. <laughs> Just the monster mashing into this. <laughs> yeah. Getting some disco vibes. With I feel like I'm understating here. how well he could just do every single genre. <laughs> yeah. Kind of goes without saying, I feel like. Yeah. Just listen to this. Mm -hmm. This is completely different than everything else. <laughs> yeah. Flexing his voice, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. Why are they spelling Illinois? Illinois. <laughs> they all transition. It's crazy. Um, yes. I feel like that was like the... Like a companion piece to the last song. Um, mm -hmm. So I think when I listen to those together, I'm going to like that a lot. Uh, but by itself pretty groovy it's like way different um yeah. the bass guitar is very prominent and i like it kind of some thriller vibes almost mm. yeah i could see that it was a uh, probably the most different sounding one mm -hmm. which isn't necessarily a bad thing uh, i think i'm getting just a generalized feeling of this is a quality product that is objectively good in almost every way but i don't know if i'm ever going to revisit it <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, a common feeling. 
but that's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like with 22 tracks, you pick and choose a whole bunch and then just yeah listen to them. But I've been wowed have to, by a lot. Yeah. This is like overstimulation at this point. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back again and just listen to the full thing like on my own time. But I this is like a lot. Too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great. I'm running out of words, so we're just going to keep going. It's unfortunate that I'm running out of words because these next two song titles are god awful. Um, I guess we do 17, 18, and 19. So I think so. I'm just about to read a book to you, I guess. 17 is Let's Hear That String Part Again because I don't think they heard it all the way out in Bushnell. Probably not. 18 is In This Temple as in the hearts of man for whom he saved the earth. And then 19 is The Seer's Tower. <laughs> Well, the Seer's Tower. The Seer's Tower. Yeah, see, it's a mm, play on words. Okay. Is this just the string part to the last uh, yes. song? Yes. They got to play okay. it again because they didn't hear it out in Bushnell. Oh, of course. It's all in the song name. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Oh. You can't just translate. <laughs> she transitioned like an exit interlude into a different interlude. <laughs> <laughs> this is a scary temple. Yeah, it is. This is the prettiest temple. The Sears Tower is the scariest building, though. So. It sure is. You ever been in the glass room? That's a little scary. Eek! <laughs> and that transitioned. I need to listen to this whole thing straight through. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> I don't think... Did Carrie and Lowell do this? Mm -mm. Yeah. It would have felt weird if it did. But this, mm -hmm. like, I feel like it's just a master, like, play. And yeah. I just need to, like, soak it in. Mm -hmm. So, take whatever opinion I'm going to have at the end of this video and heighten it because it's going to be better when I just listen to it. True. I'm glad we're going to get a retrospective for this one. Yes, for sure. For sure. Yeah. God, you're not going to make the best song name after the Sears Tower. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a factual statement anymore. It's the Willis Tower Exactly. Now. Although, didn't, I think they changed it again. I don't know. I don't know. Now this should be illegal. <laughs> Sufjan Stevens is committing war crimes. He really on is on my ears. <laughs> yeah. This guy is not human. <laughs> I refuse to believe like it. A ghost. The that's, Sears Tower. That's the best song I think. It's it's hard to say when we're this deep, but yeah, that might be the best, one of the best Sufjan songs I've ever heard. I disagree. Okay, it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not vibing with that one. You're not supposed to vibe with it. I know. That I meant was, just like that was amazing. I don't. Know. Just like he had Not his vocals me. like on the like low end. It's so airy and ominous. He's talking about the Sears Tower, so his voices are like clouds, and he's like seven miles above everybody and looking down. And then completely changes the subject towards the end. Oh my god. None of that oh my god. resonated. <laughs> I I think you know by now that none of that wow. stuff is ever applied yeah, to. Yeah, you're me. heartless, I forgot. <laughs> yes. Man. Not a cloud. It was a synthesizer, you coward. You idiot. Stupid. Listen. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, that that was the best one so far. Um, I will die on that hill. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. He has such a good voice, and then he just puts it on the low end for, like, atmospheric, and then raises it at the end a little bit. Fantastic. Um, last long track. Seven minutes. 
Uh, I think this is the longest track, actually. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. The Tallest Man, The Broadest Shoulders, Part 1, The Great Frontier, and then Part 2, Come to Me Only with Playthings Now. You can't put a Part 1 and 2 in the same song. I've frankly never heard. Except, of course, the Common album right behind me that does the same exact thing. <laughs> I like the song for the clapping. <laughs> How are you gonna have a heartbreaking song right before yeah, I was this gonna and then say, just like, this is hey! like the opposite. <laughs> I feel like if I played this in order without stopping, I feel like the song would just be laughing my face after the last song. <laughs> Pretty much. It kind of what it's like taunting like you. Right yeah. Wow, you're just doing it all. Oh, yeah. This must be part two. Maybe. Maybe not. This is still part one. Yeah. Yeah. I think there'll be like a clear split, I would imagine. Okay. Exactly halfway through. <laughs> It'll be pretty quick here. <laughs> nope, no. Nope. baited. Part two. It's exactly six. Sixty-two <laughs> percent of the way in. <laughs> So intentional. This isn't math. Cole Kushner taught me about that. Yep. <laughs> That's probably going to keep going too, because why not? Yeah. But I'm just going to stop it because <laughs> it's seven minutes long. God, I need to listen to the whole thing. Uh, it's making me angry. But this one was pretty good as well. Big surprise. Yeah. Wow. I'd say that one was. Probably the only long song that I would say would say uh, did not benefit from being long. I think there was a lot of fat that you could trim from that one. I don't think there is at all. I okay. think I think this album's gone on too long. I think you're reaching that point. Maybe because it's I'm not sure. once you go for a certain point, it's like okay, we're done here. Could be. I'm not sure. I think so because that song like perfectly filled that time. I think. It went through like five different sections too. That was great. Maybe I'm <sighs> dumb. Maybe. Who knows? Not we me. got two left, so. Okay. Uh, you can't make me read again. Oh my God, Sufjan. Do all of them. <sighs> Riffs and variations on a single note for Jelly Roll, Earl Hines, Louis Armstrong, Baby Dodds, and the King of Swing, to name a few. And then the last song, Out of Egypt, Into the Great Laugh of Mankind, and I Shake the Dirt from My Sandals as I Run. Bars. Good song titles. Yep. It'd be a shame if, like, my favorite Sufjan song was one of these long name ones, and then I'd have to just, like, recite the whole thing whenever somebody asks. <laughs> You'd have to remember it. Yeah. <laughs> We did it. Okay. It's an interesting ending. I think it made sense. It was just, you know, we just took had that, some uh, unfortunate uh, sequencing. <laughs> we just did the last two tracks and they were just both <laughs> like <laughs> instrumental. <note>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. But, yeah, this was uh, very good. Mm -hmm. Very long but very good. And yes. I'm doing a disservice to it already because I haven't listened to the full thing without pausing. Mm. Um, I feel like once I listen to it and I can fully immerse myself in how majestic it gets and then how stripped back it gets, then I can really, really give an opinion on it. But mm. you know, just off of basically hearing singles, uh, not having a flow of an album, still pretty g dang good. Like, really good. I agree. I think, uh, uh, for the most part, it was pretty epic. Mm -hmm. I'd say it probably has a success rate of about 80% for me. Uh, and that's not counting the 40 second songs or anything what? like that. I'm talking like you actual. You didn't like the music. six second song? I'm saying I like it, but I wouldn't count it okay. as like. That's probably. I'm talking funny. like real meat songs. Okay. Uh, 
yeah. But overall, I did enjoy it. Um, but I will need to listen to it. Yes. This is an awkward one to react to because it is so dense. Yes. And everything yeah. flows into each other, so we'd have no chance to talk. Right. Or even say the song titles in between songs. So. True. But very, very good. Um, mm-hmm. Let us know if you want to listen, want us to listen to other Sufjan stuff. I heard Seven I Swans and Michigan you. are both right up our alley as well. I'll listen to Celebrations any day. Yes. Let's spin a Let's wheel. Let's spin a wheel. I was going to say that. Okay. God. Okay. What are we hoping for, huh? I don't know. Um, anything? I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> That's interesting. Anything. Well, besides James Taylor, I forget he's on there. He is on there. And nobody knows who <laughs> Brud John is. I know who Brud John is. You do, yes. I'm excited for that one. That's probably my most anticipated, yeah. other than Angelic to the Core. Okay. Which we will get right. Close. Close. You should just stop wishing for it. You know? I know. You were actually very <laughs> close to veteran. That could have been very dangerous very quickly. <laughs> but well, I believe that is my chemical romance is the Black Parade. You would be correct in that assumption. So that is my pick once again. Um, mm. And I will make sure to wear eyeliner and mm. an edgy haircut. So That could be fun. Could be kind of quirky. Watch next time and leave us suggestions Coward. for stuff. If it's Sufjan or anything else, do it. I don't, I don't know. We'll listen to anything. Yep. That's my catchphrase. That is your catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ending.